During the Second World War, the US called upon Arlie Davison to produce a specialised motorcycle for the armed forces in 1940. And the result was the WLA, which was affectionately known as the Liberator by those serving on the front lines. The Harley Davidson WLA played a pivotal role in US military operations. Renowned for its ruggedness, reliability and versatility, the motorcycle became an iconic symbol of the US Army's power and was a cherished companion to the soldiers serving on the battlefield. Designed for combat and transportation, the motorcycle was a robust machine, capable of enduring the unforgiving conditions of war. Its sturdy frame, strong suspension and high ground clearance made it the perfect vehicle for travelling across rough terrain. While the WLA's powerful engine provided the speed and agility needed for military operations. The WLA was used for intelligence gathering and running messages. A common mission would be to send the motorcycle head of the division to scout the area. Many times the rider would end up crossing enemy lines to find them himself facing German troops and artillery. In this episode we discover such a monument not known by many. Is everybody ready? Combine harvester. Yep. My camera's given up the ghost now, this is flat. Ding dong, ding dong. One right. Done. Good. I'll tell you what, I reckon if you come around here with a metal detector, you'd be finding everything. Yeah. Go yeah, low, don't you? No. Well, in Normandy you can't. You have to oh. apply for a licence, I don't know whether it's the same. I'd love to do it, Dal. I'd love to. Yeah. I don't know whether it's the same on every other like war site. Yeah, but Normandy you have to have a licence, you have to apply. A special license. But I suppose you can understand any because people are finding bodies. Yeah. We keep seeing these cyclists. Vive la France! I bet it is though, isn't it? I bet even the people that live here, I bet they find stuff in the back garden if you dug it up. Yeah. Right turn. Church big eight.
We're all stopped at the lights, Greg. Yeah, we'll pull over. We'll just go nice and slow. It's one road for a mile, so... Nice round here, any goose? Ah. It's nice round here. Yeah. Church big eight. On the left as you come round the bend. Bada bum. David Dog. Coming? Yeah, back on. Church Biggie to the left. Church Biggie! Church Biggie! Oh, that's true. <laughs> Ka-ching! <laughs> you get to any kind of row, you know it's going to be <laughs> Never mind, looking left and right at the island, I'm looking at the horizon. <laughs> one arm is there to the right and all. One deep through a jam, one arm sure. to the right. to the right, sir. Yeah. There's lens to the right, that's where we stayed. When we went to Overdorsey Lane, the first hotel was in Lens. Crossing over the river. And the rivers of Babylon. We are gearbox time to look at fell out then. <laughs> Just think Craig, you've got you can review all this, you've got another three months of reviewing yep. it. You know. <laughs> I, aim, go, I you always know. aim to have the last episode out by yeah. December. Yeah. I know I'm on track then. You'll be, be sleepy thinking about it all the time. Church big eight.
right, Vic? Yeah, thanks, mate. Bit of a sore arse, but I'm alright. Have you? Have you? <laughs> Don't help on that thing on your bloody back. Uh, I wouldn't do the bit strap it into the back seat, you know. You should. When we when we stop, put it strap it to the back seat. Yeah, I bought a couple of rock straps. Yeah, I'll get it on the back, mate. Are we stopping for a break anytime soon? Yes, mate. I might try and strap this bag to the back seat. Oh right, bud. We can very demanding. On the boy can in the bedroom. <laughs> 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 What, because I demanded the first shit, you mean? <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> you warmed the seat up for me there, that's what you were doing. What, you shit in the bed? And, it, and he left me some brown marks, which I had to do it as well. He's a skitter, isn't he? Alright, now hold on a minute, hold on. Which one are we? Which one are we? First exit, so it's really cold. See, we, we want to go straight over, but... Yeah. I oh, think, yeah, yeah we, we, I think we need to get over here. Get in the other line if somebody can block it off. I think, oh. anyhow. Yeah, you can get out, it's over in this one, I think, you know. Yeah, I think it is. It's late, Greg. I think it's, it's the first exit coming up here, so that would yeah. miss this one straight over. We've got to go straight over, but there's two roads going straight over. I'll take this one, definitely, look. See, right well, then, good. Yeah. I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is the one, eh? No, no. Come on, you boys. So I bet there's never any accidents, though. No. Never. Never. <laughs> Especially from England, <laughs> the drivers. <laughs> Church, Biggie. Coffee Street and I can't see it yet. Oh, I can see it now. I think there's a steeple right over there, Piggy, is there? Can't see it yet. Over the back of the trees now. Can't see it yet. <coughs> I'm not hungry. I'm thirsty. Yeah. I need a drink. That's all, really. Have you got your cowboys back on? No, I haven't got one of them. I've got, I've got my water bottle, but that close to my engine and my radiator, it's getting warm. Cup of tea now. <laughs> it's not toddy now. <laughs> he ain't got a camel pack, he's got a camel toe, though. He has. We know, because you've seen it. You might have seen it, but Piggy's had the pleasure of it. To be honest, we're probably about thirty thousand people have seen it. I've never, I've never slept right since. That's right. Tell everyone. You can't tell us to tell everyone, Roy. When you walk through the middle of an hotel with your foreskin out. Yes, as I say, you had, you had a nightmare last night, didn't it? Ash, you were screaming. The mushrooms coming. <laughs> 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 Somebody say quiche. Quiche. Might smell it. Nope, nope. No more lockets, but he's Roy's Bellend. Little supermarket. Probably be your best bet stop at one of them. Yeah. It's all fucking everything. Do you want, if you want to pull in there, we'll turn around. Yeah, go into Lidl. Turn around, go into Lidl. Yeah, go to Lidl. Turn around. A spin round here because at least you can get some a few supplies, can't you? As well, so yeah, if we don't find anywhere, at least you've got some some drinks and shit and bullshit and cat shit and dog shit. What's this car, Rambo? Go on, Dave. Yep, clear. You're not that big. Come on, mate. I can't. I know where I've got to go. So. So spunk stunner. Good old flash. Cool.
going up roof, get off the boat. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't really know all the quiet here, but so. Oh, you going up roof? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Might as well get some water, I think, for me. A couple of bottles of that water. Yeah, no, I can get off both sides anyway. Oh, jeez. Oh, Come on, my last is. Oh, I'll cross front, don't fucking mind, is it? Who well, don't you park where the f you want, mate? Because we'll still push your bike over. There we go. Just stopped for dinner. Have you got yeah you got a cable hanging by back wheel mate? He just told him yeah. And just you got a wire at the back. Just wrap it round, stop it if you can. Can I see you unplug it? No, you won't unplug it, it's wired into the bike. Well you can, it's got a USB here, look. It's like your extension cable there. Alright. Ah, Oh. oh, what's your cable, Goose? Cable, you can still connect it. Top. You got reverse on that flash? Flash has, yeah. Flash yeah. has, yeah. Everybody on? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Next stop, Neto. <laughs> Nice, just get on the move again, get some breeze, innit? Oh dear. Sorry about that, James. Are you right? Turning left. Next roundabout, guys, turning left. Turning left at the roundabout. Fair bit of a gap behind me, I can't even see him. Have we got him? Yeah, we're here. Yeah? Yep. They're all there, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all with me now. Yeah, I know. Oh, look at that beauty. Cobblers. Cobblestones, piggy. Cobblers. They're the beauty, that one. Can't, can't they afford a bit of road? Uh, uh, Splat. Oh, right, oh, turn. Oh, oh, right oh, turn, right oh, turn, right, right turn. Right turn, Clyde.
church, Piggy. Hey, Church piggy, yeah, 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 yeah. The lunge of the Turning right, have we got everybody? So this part here, where we are now, this is where the American soldier who was on the motorbike, he was sent out to scout the area. And what he did, he turned left here, he came down this road, this is the Belgian border, and as he got to the other side, he realised it was Germans. So he had to turn around and go back. So he was the first American soldier what crossed into German territory. And this is where the German, the American Harley Davis is, Harley Davidson is at the end. So Nate, we're in Belgium now. Yeah. Belgium already. <laughs> we're in yep. Belgium now. We're in Belgium. That, that little bridge you just went over there was the border. You could tell because it's up on the plates and the red look. Yeah. yeah red plates. Ch Chains again, yeah. And here it is. There it is. Should we get a picture? Got a parachute goose. So if you want to pull up over there, outside that. Pull up over there on the left hand side. Yeah. <coughs> so this was the first American Harley Davidson. Second of September, nineteen forty-four. The Second Armored Division. Put it on him. Put it on his. Put it on his gun. There we go. That road was the difference between Allied forces and the Nazis. He came out scouting and he didn't realise he'd gone too far. But I don't think they know the name of the motorcyclist who it was. 